know this immortal technique? Right now you're watching G4 TV. Freestyle 101. About to go in that booth. Do what I do, I'll stay where you are. Right back. I won't rhyme about putting a hole in your dome. I get Israeli on you. I put a hole in your home, holding a chrome rocket, propel grenade launcher. I get paid to murder motherfuckers like the Contras. Weapon scandal, I handle the gamble of making examples. Hannibal, elephant, trample, mandible samples. Curb serving all you little bastard niggas. It's not a movement if you don't own your masters, nigga. You ask me to hit spit a freestyle, but here's the difference. A freestyle is some shit that was never in existence. Like the shit that I'm kicking now. The shit with the know-how, the shit that I'm proud. And hey, yo, immortal Technique, the last Mohican on the warpath, path, kid. Should have gone to jail forever for the crimes that I did. But I'm chilling like a frigid there. I never care. Immortal technique, the freestyle off the mental. Immortal technique, I don't recognize this instrumental. But I guess you made it up just a moment ago. I'm rocking it slow, but I'm rocking it fast. Immortal technique, I was never late for class, I just didn't show up. Fuck it, immortal technique, rolling truck. Immortal technique, I said my name too many times. But that's what happens when you spit in freestyle rhymes. And you just say the first thing to come to your head, like I like some cheeseburger with a little nice bread. Fuck it. I rob about whatever. I'm kind of hungry. Immortal technique. My pocket's full of money and some of y'all ain't. But if you mad at me, then fuck you, nigga. And I can still freestyle and that didn't rhyme. It's just offensive and it just gets relentless. Immortal technique. Not repetitive. But except when I say my name, not a sedative. It gets you lobbed up. It gets you crazy. It gets you heightened. It gets you ready to fuck your girl tonight. That means I'm responsible for your baby being born. I'm responsible for a lot of shit. You can call me a terrorist cause I attack in response immortal technique yeah I drop bombs and that's what happens immortal technique never been platinum I guess I said my name so many times but that's so you can remember it so many rhymes that I spit and that's the way we market shit it's ingrained in your mind like them commercials you hate immortal technique I'm still making this paper and then I know you're gonna hate this shit when you play it back cause you'll be like damn how many times you said his name on the track well fuck it I'll say it again immortal technique Fuck you, that's the end. I was born in South America. I was born in the Hospital Militar de Lima, military hospital, Lima, Peru. And I moved to Harlem when I was real young. And I remember back in the day, and DJs used to spin break beats on the radio, and they used to just come out, no one was screaming, or endorsing their new product, or whatever. And I remember just play stuff on the uh, on radio and the way I personally got into freestyling was that I listened to I listened to other people rhyming on the radio and then when they just spun the beats or the break beats sometimes I would just try to make up my own rhymes and that's pretty much how I started I was probably about eight nine years old I was listening to whatever was out back then like oh, oh that's... if they do it I could do it too so that was it. It was also kind of an infusion to the culture itself, you know, coming here to America as well and being part of that, digesting all that and realizing that there was a message in the music of hip hop and realizing that, you know, you could use it to entertain people or you could use it to educate people. And even if we joke about hip hop just being entertainment, entertainment does a lot of different things. Entertainment itself educates people. Or well, entertainment can distract people. Or well, entertainment can placate people. Or well, entertainment can fool people. Or well, entertainment can inspire people. Or well, it can make someone reflective about what they're going through in their life. So I felt like since hip hop had that type of power, it, I was naturally drawn to it, the way it expressed itself about black and Latino people, you know, situations in the hood and stuff like that. But, Freestyle itself, I think, was the ability to just, out of nowhere, create your own world right there in that medium of hip hop. Freestyle was intended to be something that was spontaneous, something that was whatever. But if someone wants to come up with something that they just write as a loose thought, something that's not connected, you know, it's a freestyle, it's just not a spontaneous freestyle. So, you know, it's apples and oranges here and there. But I think that um, I think it definitely means a lot less to people nowadays. In fact, if you go into a record executive's office, I mean, if your goal is to be like, you know, Mr. Successful, Mr. 
you know, platinum artist and you tell them you can freestyle, that means absolutely nothing to these people. Nothing. Not, not, not a f***ing thing. You know, oh, I, I can break dance. We have people for them. That's how they are, all right, you know what I mean? Those people are there because they went to business school. They didn't go to music school, most of them, because that's how the industry is. And that's why I chose to never partake in like that. And I was just like, look, I'll make my music about whatever I want to.